Thank you for tuning in to Glory Tabernacle Prayer Meeting tonight at Consuming Fire Radio Network. The number to call in for prayer is 712-432-0075 and the access code is 293-544-POUND. So please call in with your prayer requests so we can lift them up in agreement to the Father in our prayers this evening. God bless. Let's praise the Lord.
Good evening. Welcome to the Glory Tabernacle Prayer Line together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are now in the portion of sharing the word and before I call on Bishop Mel, let's open up in prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. We welcome your Holy Spirit's presence on this prayer line live. And Lord, we want to lift up to you Bishop Mel, who will share the word tonight. Lord, anoint him, and Lord, let us hear from you through your vessel tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 May I call on Bishop Mel? Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. This is Bishop Mel. Good evening. I'm going to bring to you tonight the Holy Word of God. The title of the message tonight is, Are you living a holy life? Are you living a holy life? Our text tonight came from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 5. The book of John, chapter 15, verse 5. Let me just open up in prayer, Father. In the name of Jesus, thank you once more tonight for the opportunity that we can come before your throne of grace. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, O God, that we can come together tonight once more in this we hour of night, O God, before your holy throne, O God, for your glory, for your honor, gracious Lord. We thank you, O God, for your word of salvation tonight, for it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So, Lord, tonight grant that we may love the word, understand the word, believe the word, and live according to it. Make the word, O oh God, our comfort, our guide. Open our heart, our mind, when we read your holy word, O oh God, that says that its sacred message, even tonight, may take root and grow in our life. And Lord, we give you praise, O oh God, for sustaining this prayer line life every single night that we come together here on the prayer line live, Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory, O oh God, that we can honor you, we can glorify you, Lord, O oh God, we can bless you for your glory, for your honor, in Jesus, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. The title of the message again tonight is, Are You Living a Holy Life? Book of John, 15 verse 5, it says here, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, one line from the old hymn, I don't know if you know this old hymn, Where he leads, I will follow. Where he leads, I will follow. Says it, This is says of Christ. He the great example, the pattern for us. This is a good line to remember as we practice holy living. We dare not separate holy living from living like Jesus, from letting His example be a pattern for the way we live. That's why apart from our relationship with Him, human effort to live a holy life is in vain and it is impossible. So as we reflect Jesus in our daily living, we show the holiness God requires for each and every one of us. That's why holiness it's not about human effort. No matter how good the intention are, it's not human effort. Holiness is based on a relationship with Jesus Christ alone. Without Him, you cannot do it. 
That's why if you go to our text tonight, the book of John 15, go to the book of John chapter 15, verses 1 to 17. 1 to 17. You know, we cannot separate holy living from our relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus made this very clear when he pictured himself as the what? The true vine. That's why verse 1, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. A husbandman. Like branches sprouting from a vine only in a close ongoing relationship with him can believers hope to bear fruit in their lives. He cuts of every branch in me that bears no fruit, verse 2, while every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Here on verse 5, it says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a, if, if a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do Nothing. So here as a believer, we depend on our relationship with Jesus Christ to bear spiritual truth, including the fruit of holy living. Without Him, without Christ, our best efforts at being holy will fall short. Without Him, we can do nothing. Jesus warned his disciple here of danger if they left their relationship with him. Like withered branches, they would be cast away should they, should they desert him. So if they choose to remain in him, they would enjoy great spiritual blessing in their life. That's why it says verse, verse 8, this is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourself to be my disciples. So here we could see that our relationship with Jesus Christ provides, what? Provide the soil or the means in which godly living can grow. That's why apart from Him, our attempts at holiness will be just that, only attempts, but it will not bear fruit. But in Him, holiness becomes a reality. Jesus commanded His disciples to continue in His love. He explained that they could do this by obeying His commands. Doing this would bring joy into their life, verse 10 and 11. That's why obeying Christ's command is basic. The very basic to holy living. It would be a self-righteous, legalistic effort if we ever try to be obedient without relationship with the Lord. And defending on ourselves. So we have to depend on the Holy Spirit. When God loves inspire us to be holy, it becomes the joyful experience God intends it to be. So Jesus also commanded believers to love each other. So the love we are to show should reflect the love He has shown us. That's why do doing this makes us the Lord's friend. So here bearing the spiritual fruit from God once in our lives, we on verse 16, it says here, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. So that's the promise of God, that whatever we ask in His name, God will give it to us. So here doing this make us the friends of God, bearing the spiritual fruit God wants in our life. So the importance of loving one another 
is seen in Jesus' repetition of this command. That's why it says, this is my command. Love each other. Go to verse 15 to 23. Verses 15 to 23 of John chapter 17. John chapter 17 verses 15 to 23. Here records Jesus' prayer for his disciple prior to his ar- to his arrest and crucifixion. Here he prayed. Jesus prayed. He always prayed. He included request for sanctified living. That's why as we look at the culture around us, even now, we might think that holy living can never take place in this world. That's why Jesus' prayer for us, you and me, proves otherwise. Here he began by praying that the Father would not remove his followers from the world but that he would protect them as they live in it. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, verse 15, but that you protect them from what? From the evil one. So here, one of the ways, one of the ways God helped us to live a holy life is to provide us with his protection and he watches us over us daily so his spirit guide us in the choice we make and warn us when we move toward choices and behavior that are not holy and not according to his will that's why Jesus reminded in his disciple in verse 16 through his prayer that they are different from the word, including us, Christian, even as he is. That's why it said it says here, they are not of the word. You are not of the word, even as I am not of it. That's what it says here on verse 16. So as follower of Christ, you and me, we are not of this word. You are not citizens of the world. You are citizens of heaven. That is not like it in mind and in spirit. Our way of life and source of life are totally, remember this, different from the world. So here Jesus then pointed to another help for a holy living. You need help for a holy living. You cannot do it yourself. No way. He prayed that the Father would sanctify believers, you and me, and he explained how this word, uh, how this word take place. That's why the Word of God, the Word of God would be the tool the Father would use to keep them pure as they went out into the world. That's why it's saying here that when it says here, verse 17, sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. And as you sent me into the word, I have sent them into the word. For them I sanctify myself that they too may be truly, what? Truly sanctified. So the same thing is true for you and me tonight. Holy living requires time spent in God's Word. Reading the Word of God, if we neglect reading and studying the Bible, the Word of God, we will find ourselves neglecting to live in a godly manner and holy life. Finally, verse 20 here, Jesus prayed. He prayed for everyone, including you, including me, who would believe in Him when His disciples preached God's Word. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message. Verse 20, verse 21, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. 
Hallelujah. That's what it says here in verse 20. That's why his prayer centered on their unity, which was reflected in Jesus' relationship with his Father. We could see here a relationship with each other in Jesus' relationship with the Father. So this centered on un unity. So this unity of spirit and purpose would show that He had been sent by the Father into the world. Holiness then comes about because of and through our union with Jesus Christ. Without union with Christ, there would be no holy living. Any other effort for holiness is what? It's just human effort. United, if you are united with Christ, we can live a holy life even. Even as the culture around us become increasingly unholy and wicked. Now you go to First John, go to First John chapter 4, verse 10 to 21. First, first John chapter 4, verse 10 to 21. Here, John made it clear that holiness depends on our love. In First John chapter 4, he pointed out to the true nature of love as revealed in God's sending His Son, Jesus, to die for the sins of the world. And then He made it clear that, that love for God requires that we love each other. Love for each other keeps believers all holy in our relationship. That's why if we love another person, we are not as likely to let sin destroy our relationship with that person. We depend on God's presence and spirit to help us live in a godly manner. That's why John said that one of the marks of godly living, listen to this, is the spirit presence and power in our lives. We know that we live in Him and He in us, verse 13, because He has given us of His, what? Of His Spirit, the Holy Spirit, true to His name, enable us, enable believers to live a holy life in relation to the culture around us where we face temptation that threaten our holiness. We also depend on God's love for us and our love for Him. That's why, and we, and we have sinned and testified that the Father has sent His Son to be the Savior of the world. Verse 14, verse 15, if anyone, listen to this, if anyone acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. Hallelujah. 16. So as we know and rely on the love of God has for us, God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. Hallelujah. That's why loving God also takes away the fear of facing him when in judgment day, He will take away the fear from you if you love God. This is one of the great blessings of a holy living. We do not have to fear what God is going to say at the judgment day. So love for God is what, what? It is what makes us want to live a holy life. It comes from His love for us. Our love for God is proven in a relationship with fellow believers. 
Do you know that claiming to love God while hating others make us liars? That's why believers who wisely choose to live godly life must keep in mind, remember this, that a big part of our godly living is in our relationship with God and with others believers. That's why loving them is not an option. It is a requirement. It is a must. To love God, we must love others. If you hate your brother, then it would be difficult for you to live a holy living. Hallelujah! Holiness Holiness depends on your relationship with Jesus. Tonight, examine your relationship with Christ. How often do you pray? How often do you read your word? How often do you attend fellowship and church service? These three simple things so easily neglected because of busyness in the world, preoccupied by the world. This provides assistance for holy living if you have these three simple things. Never live at a distance or far away from God. Never. The farther you live from Him, the less likely you will be to find holiness in your life. Ask God to help you live holy. Ask the Holy Spirit. Depend on His guidance. Depend on His strength in your daily living. Follow His example in your daily life. When you do these things, you will reflect Christ in your living, which is what holiness is all about. Recognize that holy living is linked. Remember this to your relationship with the Lord and with others. Examine yourself with other believers and non-believers alike. Are those relationships marked by anger, by hatred, or by love and compassion? This relationship are a way to guide or gauge your love for God and whether you are truly living for God. That's why this lesson tonight or this message tonight has presented a very simple practical ways we can live the holy life God requires of believers, you and me. That's why the building blocks of the holy life are very simple. Listen to this or take note of this tonight. Number one, abide in Christ. Remain in right relationship with Him all the days of your life. Number two, Remain close to Christ. Don't be far away from Him. Being distant from Him will weaken your ability to live a holy life. Number three, stay unite, united with Christ and His followers. Detachment from either will affect your ability to live a holy life. Don't be a lone ranger. Number four. Love your brothers and sisters in Christ. The way you treat others is a measure of your holiness. If you ever hate your brother or sister, then you will weaken you're living as a holy life. Starting tonight, examine your life. Are you remaining in Christ, in His love? 
Are you united with Him and with fellow believers in His purposes for your life and theirs? How are you treating other believers? Honestly, answering this question tonight, this four question tonight can help you determine how well you are reflecting Christ by how you live. And this is the way to a holy living. In Jesus, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me just close up in prayer. You know, God's standard is holiness. The book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14, it says here, Follow peace with all men, and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. So tonight, thank you, Father, for your righteousness which enable us to walk in holiness before you. Therefore, by your mercy, O God, we now present our body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto you, which is our reason reasonable service. So, Lord, tonight we give unto you the glory that is due your name. We would come before you and worship you in the beauty of holiness. We repent, O oh Lord, of our sin and ask you to bring us into holiness without which we cannot ever see you. We decide to be holy as you are holy, Lord. We pray that you will impart your holiness to us so that we might be pure in heart, capable of seeing you as you are in, your, in all your holiness, in all your honor, power, in majesty, holy is your name, Father. Let us serve you, O God, with pureness of our heart. Thank you, Lord, O God, for being the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness. By the resurrection from the dead, you, Lord, have given us the grace to be holy. Thank you, Lord. You are renewing us tonight, Lord, in the spirit of our mind, because of your word, because of this, we are able to put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So, Lord, from this point on, we will continue in faith, we will continue in love, we will continue in holiness all the days of our lives. Until the day of judgment. Thank you, Father, for your chastening that make it possible for us to partake of your holiness. Help us now to realize that we learn obedience through your correction. Thank you, Lord, for the proof of righteousness which come through your chastisement and discipline. Lord, we know that you are holy, and we want to be holy when we build up a relationship with you. We know you sit upon your throne, high, high and lifted up. And your train fills this, the temple. We join tonight with the angels who cry, holy, holy. Holy is the Lord of hosts. And the whole earth is filled with your glory. Help us now, Lord, to see you in, your, in all your holiness. And in so seeing you, that we may desire to be holy, as you are holy for the rest of our life. 
in Jesus, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop Mel, for that word tonight. The lesson is titled, Are You Living a Holy Life? Our scripture reading is from John 15, verse 5. Our lesson tonight is started from John 15, verses 5 to 16, John 17, verses 15 to 21. Hallelujah. If you want to hear the full message again, go to our website, Glory Tabernacle Prayer Line. Dot blogspot dot com. We are now in the portion of taking your prayer request, praise report. Once again, this is Glory Tabernacle Prayer Line together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are broadcasted globally tonight live. To all our listeners here and abroad, the line is open for you. May I have the first prayer request? Amen. Continue to lift up Glory Tabernacle Church, the prayer line live, the street outreach, the Healing and Deliverance Ministry, the Healing Service, and Lord, we also lift up our leaders, Bishop Mel and Pastor Marina, and Evangelist Mike of Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the word that you gave us through Bishop Mel. And, Lord, we pray that it blessed your people tonight, Lord God. Lord, we also want to lift up, Lord, the street outreach. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you give us to give out food, clothing, and prayer to the people in need. Lord, we thank you for this prayer line live where we can lift up the needs of your people in prayer. We thank you, Lord, for the healing and deliverance service and ministry, Lord God, that, Lord, you bring complete healing and restoration to your people, Lord God. Lord, we also lift up Bishop Mel and Pastor Marina, our leaders, Lord God, that, Lord, you continually Fill them with your anointing of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray that you would expand the territory of their ministry. And Lord, we pray that you would bring provision, Lord, whatever they need to do the work of God that you've called them to, Lord. And Lord, we also want to lift up, Lord God, your people tonight, even the silent listeners, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that... The word has blessed them, and Lord, that the prayers of the intercessors and the praise reports and testimonies will encourage your people tonight. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Thank, Thank you, Sister Claire. Claire. You're welcome. Let's continue to pray for all our brothers and sisters in Christ, also the pastors, and also uh, our church workers, every prayer intercessors in this prayer line, and all those who are sharing the word of God, that God may continue to give them grace and strength and to hold on to their faith that they can go forth and Save the lost. Hallelujah. May I call on Sister Chief? Sister Chief? Sister Chief? 
Hello? Yeah? Hi, Sister Cheat. Yeah. Can we please lift up um, the body of the church, the pastors, and all the church workers, those who are sharing the word of God to the lost mm -hmm. in the byways and highways, wherever they are in the nursing home. Mm -hmm. And let's pray that God continuously use them. Hallelujah. Uh, I just want to pray also for the um, young adults of Sun Square Church. They will be, um, probably they will be traveling now. They have a retreat okay. in Virginia. So I just want to pray for them. Amen. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. We thank you for your word, Lord. Oh, God, keep us pure and holy before you. For Jesus, Lord of anything that is not uh, pleasing to thy side, Lord God, Father. We come before you, Lord God, to live up to you, our pastors, Lord. Father, you have called them, O oh God, O oh Lord, to minister, to minister your word, Lord God. You have called them, Lord God, because the harvest is so much, Lord. But I pray, O oh God, Lord, that your anointing will flow through them, Lord. I pray that you will protect them from the attacks of the evil, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, Lord, that you will provide for the needs of the ministry as well as their family and personal needs, my God. Financially, Lord God, you will provide, Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, O oh God, Lord Jesus, that you will speak to them, Lord, that when they speak, Lord, it's you who is speaking through them, that power and authority, Lord God, will come and that, Lord, people will be, uh, people's hearts will change, oh God, and repentance will come, oh God. I pray that you use them mightily, Lord God, oh Jesus, to touch people's lives, oh God, that many, many souls will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Father, protect your pastors, Lord. Keep them in the palm of your hand, Lord. Order their steps, oh God, Lord Jesus, and, and fill them with your Holy Spirit. Spirit, my God, oh Lord, give them good health and strength in their body, Lord God, as well as the church, Lord, and the workers of the church. Father, I pray for each one of them. I pray, oh God, that as they obey you and serve you and minister for the needs of others, you will take care of their needs, my God. Oh Lord, I pray that you will protect the hearts and minds, you oh God, from any evil attack, oh God, and that you give them the superpower, the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit to overcome whatever, whatever a temptation, Lord God. Father, oh God, put the heads of your covering around them, Lord, oh God, and let them decide, Lord, be you, are you alone, Lord? And, oh Lord, Father, I pray that you open the floodgates of heaven and reveal that to them things that they do not know, that when they preach, oh God, it is you, oh God, who will speak directly to the hearts of people through them, Lord. Use them mightily, Lord God. Oh God, in this hour, there's so many, many, Lord, works of darkness. Push back the work of darkness, Lord, oh God. And let, oh God, your church arise, oh God. Your workers arise, oh God. That the darkness will be pushed back, Lord God. And Lord, your light will shine through the darkness, Lord, that many, many people, oh God, will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus in this hour, my God. Lord, there's so many confusion, there's so many trials and temptations, there's so many people that are confused, no one to turn to, Lord God. Father, intervene in the behalf of these people, Lord God. Father, open their hearts to you and let them believe that there is Jesus who loves them so much that he died on the cross for each one of us, that we will be able, Lord God, Jesus, to overcome sin, Lord Jesus. Father, touch people's lives at this hour, Lord. We pray to those that are not reached by your gospel. Use this prayer, my mighty Lord God. Use Pastor Mel and Pastor Marina, Lord God, to root out to the nation, to the places where gospel is not preached, my God. Oh, Holy Spirit, you are the one who will, oh God, who will unveil the blindness of the people, oh God. Holy Spirit, you will reveal to the people, oh God, oh Lord, that there is a God who loves them so much, Lord. Father, I pray, 
And I live up to you, Lord, the team of the of young adults of, of young of Times Square, Lord, for their uh, retreat, Lord, fall retreat. I pray for them that you will do something, Lord. You will protect them in their travel tonight. You will keep them in the palm of your hand. You're traveling mercy upon them, Holy Spirit. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you, oh God, Jesus, go before them and be with them. Oh, Lord, and that you will do something great among young people. You will raise up an army of intercessors, an army of, of, of young people that will proclaim your name, oh God. Oh, Lord, bless them. Go before them and be with them. Guide them, keep them. All oh, their steps at all times, Lord God. And let there be, oh God, a successful retreat to glorify your name, to magnify your name, oh God. To proclaim your name to the last, Lord God. Oh, Jesus, I need to be every family that I represented in this prayer line, my God. Father, I pray that you protect it, family, Lord, from any attacks of the evil one. Draw us near you, Lord God. Never let us be separated from you. Cause his family to trust you no matter whatever they're going through, Lord. Whatever tri 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 trials and, uh, and adver adversities they're going through, Lord, I pray. My God, Lord, that you will give them a faith, oh God, that move mountains, Lord, that we have victory in Christ and we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus because nothing can separate us from your love, my Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this prayer line. Thank you, Lord, for all the intercessors that you have called in this prayer line. Thank you for the many, many answered prayers that you have uh, done in this prayer line, Lord, and the miracles, Lord God. Thank you for the souls of God that have been saved through this prayer line. Lord, tonight, if there are silent listeners, Lord, I pray that you touch them. I pray that you reveal yourself to them, Holy Spirit. I pray that they will feel your presence in this prayer line. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Sister Chip. Hallelujah. Let's continue to pray for our country and what's going on around us, especially these days. And I would like to call on Sister Lila. Good evening, Pastor Marina. Hello, good evening, Pastor Marina. Hi, Sister Lila. Good evening, hey. Pastor Marina. Yes. Oh, thank you. I thought <laughs> you cannot hear me. No, we can hear you. <laughs> okay. Lord, thank you so much for this for this evening, Lord, that you have brought us together in this prayer line. And we thank you for the word that you have given us to Bishop now, Lord God. Um, we would like to leave you our, our country, Lord. All the things that is happening around us. Lord, we pray for our government, the United States of America, Lord. From the president to the highest, to the lowest level of the officers, Lord. Please have mercy upon them. Give them a godly knowledge, Lord, that they may, uh, uh, that they can make a sound decision on everything that they are, uh, doing, Lord, especially, uh, our foreign affairs, Lord God, what's happening, uh, in our, in the countries that are around us, the countries that they are helping, especially those that are in turmoil, Lord God, those, the greatest problem of, of the world, Lord God, is the freedom of the people, Lord. So many are in bondage, Lord, bondage from the enemy. They kill people, Lord God. Have mercy, especially the Christians, Lord God, they, they are being put to death, Lord God. Please bless upon your martyrs, Lord God, and their families and loved ones. 
come they have left here. Lord, we pray for all the children that is about to grow, Lord God, that they may grow in according to your will, will and your knowledge and your teachings, Lord. May they open their minds, Lord, to the godly wisdom. Lord, we pray for uh, all the stud students, Lord God. They are the, the future of this nation, Lord. We pray for the, all the bullying problems in school, few things, Lord God. Lord, and the, you, you, the Ten Commandments, Lord, that they remove, Lord, uh, we pray that your your word will be will be established in each school like what it used to be in the past, Lord God. That everybody will worship you for your namesake, Lord. Have mercy upon your people. Oh God, our loving Father, whatever calamities you are suffering, Lord, you are in the midst of them, Lord God, and please control you are in control. And Lord, may this nation be great again. We have so many problems around us, Lord God. But you know what is happening, Lord God. May all the people bow their bow themselves to you. Let their pride be surrendered to you, Lord God. And may they may their hearts be open more, Lord God, to you, for your word, to your word, Lord God. Have mercy upon us. This is our prayer in the most precious name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and worship. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Lila. Hallelujah. May I call on Sister Cynthia? Sister Cynthia, are you on? Yeah, yes. Oh, hi, Pastor. Sister Cynthia. Hi. Can we lift up all our children, especially those at, in schools? Uh, let's pray even the teachers, the principals, everyone in the schools and also for our children to be delivered from corrupt uh, companions and from deliverance from habits. And also let's remember our uh, elders who are alone and also those in the nursing homes. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and bless the Lord. So my soul and all that is within me. Our Father and our God, we come again unto you this night in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold on a minute. Hallelujah. Hold on a minute, my sister. Okay. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord, O oh God, we are so thankful to you, O oh God, that at a time like this, a time like now, O oh God, we can stand in the gap, O oh God. How very fortunate we are. O oh Lord, O oh God, we give you thanks for salvation. We thank you for your keeping power, O oh God, that keeps us. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, O oh God, that allows us to allow your hand to be a person to keep us as your sanctified vessel. For we know without holiness no man shall see the Lord. And we know that even as we are waiting your second coming in the rapture, Lord, you're just rapturing those who are sanctified. 
because if we are going to be caught up, we can only be caught up and drawn up to you if we are like you. And we can only be like you when our lives lived in you, with you, is sanctified. Clean lives, oh God, lives that pleases our Father. And so tonight we thank you for grace for all of us, oh Lord, who are on this prayer line. And as the year closes, oh God, that we are closing the year <coughs> even stronger than when we started, all because of our obedience and all because of our determination to walk clean before you. We thank you. It's not of our effort, but only your grace, our faith, and our willingness to be on your side. So tonight we are thanking you, O God. Lord, we are here, but we have, we're looking at the generation, O God, is uh, under us. And we know that the youth are a nation's resources. And so when we look at this nation right now, oh God, and when we look at the youth, youth in general, whether they're saved or they're unsaved, Lord, they are lost. They seem lost. Many are totally lost. They have not heard of Jesus. They don't even know such thing as life after death, salvation. They know nothing. It's not their fault. And so our prayer to you, O oh God, is help us to be that letter, to be that book that they would see us even before we depart here, O oh God, that we can give to them that which you have given to us to hold. That we, O oh Lord, by our, our compassion and our love for them, and above all for you, O oh God, because they are the ones who are coming in into your kingdom, O oh God. Father God, what we are saying is that we surrender. We cannot do it by ourselves, and we need you, O oh God. So tonight I pray, O oh my Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, we are asking for a touch upon the youth of this nation, saved as well as unsaved. We need a new direction. We need fresh hope. We need to recognize that there is a God, no matter what the devil may want to let them think or believe. Oh God, we need your intervention, Lord. When we look at our young people going astray, following wrong ideologies and accepting foolish doctrines, like the, what is it now? For foolish doctrines, oh God, as they did in the past homosexualism and transsexual and, and this and that. Oh, God, in their ignorance. But you are merciful. And I know that you're not letting them off the hook. You are not letting them go down that way, oh, God. You would rescue them is our hope. And you would rescue them through us. So we ask in Lord to, to empower us in every way, oh, God through our witnessing, through our living, through our programs, through our every aspect, everything that we do. Let it be a witness, O oh God, to the living God. Testimony, O oh God, that Jesus alone saves. Father God, do this for us, that we can do that for them, O oh God. And so tonight we want you to just bring specially our own youth, O oh Lord God. We thank you for our children, O oh Lord, who by your grace, O oh God, and mercy, Lord, they are going the straight way. And for even those who are lagging behind, like Samantha's children, O oh Lord, and even my daughter who is half here and half there, Lord, and others like her, O oh Lord, they are unstable, O oh God, in their walk. I pray tonight, O oh God, for your intervention, O oh God, that you will make them stable, O oh God. Only you can turn them around and turn them upside down. It's only you. And you ask us to ask. And we're asking this for our children. 
our children, oh God. Your safe ones, your loved ones, we are. We are asking for deliverance for our children. Father God, and here I want to just lift up Frank's son who is still in the hospital with behavioral problems, oh God. Only you, oh God, can turn the situation around. And we have not given up on him. And we know that you will come in at the right time, oh God. For this we thank you, oh God. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the successes and the victory as well for those who have accomplished, oh, God. Our sons and daughters who have accomplished and who will accomplish, oh, God. Lord, we thank you. You are so faithful. Indeed, your thoughts towards us, they are peace and never evil. And you bring everything to the expected end. Salvation for our sons and our daughters and eternal life, oh, God, and they will be up in the rapture with us, oh God. You have promised. You would not leave us nor forsake us. And for this we thank you tonight. We thank you again, oh Lord, for allowing your servant to point out to us. It is only sanctification, holy living, be ye holy, even as I am holy, the Lord says. Father, we thank you again. And so all that we are going to do today, tomorrow, and onwards, oh God, we bring it to you. We can do nothing without you. We don't want to do anything without you. We need you, oh God, we need you. How we need you. And so tonight we give you thanks again for it is the thanks and the praise are due to you who have kept us on this prayer line all these years. Oh God, we give you thanks. We praise you and bless you again and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Cynthia. Hallelujah. God bless. God bless. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, tonight we also remember all those who are separated from you. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a ministry of reconciliation. Help us, Lord, to minister to them in the power of your Spirit. You made him who knew no sin to become sin for us. Bring reconciliation, Lord, to those who once walked with you. Remind them, Lord, that you are the bread of life. Lord, that to find true satisfaction in this life, they need to return to you. Lord, establish their, them in the faith and make them ever mindful of their need to continue in the things which, which they learned and of which she was assured of. Thank you, Lord, for the promises of your word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are always with them, Lord. You promise is that you will heal him, them, and restore your comforts unto them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We believe, Lord, that no weapon formed against them, Lord, will prosper. In their time of needs, Lord, teach them to call upon you, and you will restore them. Hallelujah. We remember all members of our families, of our friends, even this in this prayer line loved ones that have been separated from you, Lord. Lord, you know them by their names. And Lord, restore them back to you. Hallelujah. We ask this in, your, in our prayers. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Anybody else on the prayer line who wants to Share any thing. Make call on Sister Joe. Sister 
Sister Jo, are you on? Yes, hello. Oh, hi, Sister Jo. Yes, good evening, everyone. Yes, I am here. Good evening. Um, let's lift up uh, those who are sick tonight and all those who need um, comfort and encouragement. Okay, yes. Sister Jo. Amen, amen. Amen. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we come to you, O oh God, again tonight, O oh God, with a humble heart. We pray, God, that um, continue, Father God, to to change our hearts, that our hearts will be with you always, O oh God, that change our hearts, O oh God. Lord, tonight, Lord, Father God, before uh, we come, O oh Father God, into our petition, we, we want, Father God, to thank you for everything, Lord, that you've done in our lives. But it is really true, God, that without you, we are nothing, O oh God. And, Lord, we recognize that your presence is very, very important in our life, O oh God. And that, Lord, God, thank you that you have been so good, O oh Lord, O oh God, to us. Tonight, Lord, we ask again for your mercy and grace that, God, as we lift up to you, O oh God, those who are sick, O oh God, Lord, we lift up to you that you will bring a comfort and healing upon them, Lord, O oh God. Lord, we thank you that, God, your hands is not short to stretch forth unto the bodies of those who are... Um, asking for a healing and and expecting to be healed tonight, oh God. Thank you so much, oh Father God. Uh, Lord, we put our hope, our trust in you, knowing that you are the God who answers our prayers, oh God. Lord, tonight, God, we lift up to you every cases that they have. Lord, that every cancer, every sickness and diseases will Bow down to your feet, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Every family, O oh God, tonight that is asking for for a miracle healing, O oh God, for for an answer, O oh Lord, O oh God, we thank you, God, that you will come, come down, O oh God. And Lord, thank you for your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, O oh God, will will um come and touch the body right now, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you so much, Father God, that we know even um, we we know some of our friends are having difficult times, oh God, at this time because of the, the sickness and diseases, oh Lord, oh God, like uh, the friend of uh, my husband, Lord, who is, has a brain cancer, oh Lord, oh God, Lord, we pray, God, for your mercy, oh Lord, oh God, Lord God, that God, that Nothing is impossible unto you, oh Lord of God. Even the doctor is telling that there is nothing, Lord of God, that can be done. But Lord, we know that you are our great physician, oh Lord of God. And those families of Father God representing in this prayer line, oh God, you know them by name, oh Lord of God. We thank you so much, oh God, that you are the God of love. You are the God of you, you are the God, God of, of peace. You are the God of everything, O oh Lord of oh God. Tonight, Lord of oh God, we pray for comfort, O oh Lord of oh God. Lord, we lift up to, O oh God, those families who lost their lives in, in this bomb that has happened in Paris, O oh Lord of oh God. God, we pray, Lord of oh God, that uh, as they are mourning, O oh Lord of oh God, we pray that comfort them, O oh Lord. It is time, O oh God, they will come to know you. They will call upon you, Lord of oh God, who is the real Savior, O oh Lord of oh God. We pray, O oh Father God, that this is the time, O oh Lord, that they may come, Father God, uh, to to know you and have, O oh Lord of oh God, um, a relationship, and they will feel your presence that you are there, O oh Lord of oh God. Father God, tonight, Lord of oh God, we lift up to you, everyone, O oh Lord of oh God, who is asking for this kind of uh, comfort, O oh Lord of oh God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord of oh God, that you will 
Father God, you will embrace them at this time, O Lord of God. You will embrace them, O Lord of God, that God, you are there and you will fight for them, O Lord of God. And God, the Lord of Father God, they will see, O Father God, that the real um, relationship comes from you, O Lord of God, to to you alone, O Lord of God, to get our salvation. Glory to those who are who doesn't know you yet, and those people, O oh Father God, who are plot, plotting and planning to, to harm your people, O oh Lord of oh God. O oh Father God, we pray, God, that change their hearts, O oh Lord of oh God. May they see you, O oh Lord of oh God. Father God, thank you so much for tonight, O oh Lord of oh God, that you bring us together, O oh Lord of oh God, to worship you, O oh God, in this prayer line. We thank you so much, O oh Father God, that Lord, you are you are in our midst, O oh Lord of oh God, that you listen to us, O oh Lord of oh God. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness, O oh Lord of oh God. Thank you, Father God, that even we are faithless sometimes, but Lord, you are faithful, O oh Lord of oh God, and you are true, O oh Lord of oh God. Thank you, Lord of oh Father God, for you are so gracious, O oh Lord of oh God, to us. Thank you so much, O oh Father God. Thank you for redeeming us, O oh Lord of God, by your blood, O oh God. Thank you so much for sending your only Son, Jesus, the only Savior, O oh Lord, that we call. Thank you so much, O oh Father God. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and honor, O oh God, for this we ask. In your sweet name, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister. Um Joe, you're welcome. You're welcome. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, Sister Claire. Hello. Hello. Hello? Uh, this is Evangelist Mike Bradford. Can I interrupt Amen. just for a second? Yes. Uh, did I hear correctly? Uh, uh, dear Sister Joe's husband was in the hospital with brain cancer. The oh, friend. Their friend. The, oh, their the friend. friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll, the, I'm gonna. The, yes, yes. I'm gonna pray for her friend's husband. Can I do that yes, real quickly? Because yes. the Lord spoke to my heart. Amen. Thank to, you, to Lord. Spra- Thank to you, pray Lord. for her husband, their husband's friend. Vidal. Vidal. Uh, okay. In the navy. Yeah. Yeah. His uh, family name is Vidal. Yeah. I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus. I curse every cancer cell in that brain man's brain right now in the name of Jesus. It is cursed at its roots. It is done. It is over. It is dead. It's in remission. He has no more brain cancer in Jesus' name. He is cancer free in Jesus' name. I just release the healing power of God. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet, I command every cell in his brain and in his body to get in line with God's word and recreate itself back to the day that it was in conception in his mother's womb in the day of conception. In Jesus' name, and every foul devil in hell that has been assigned against him and his family has been found out, and you have to restore his body back to tenfold return in Jesus name in Jesus name and this man shall live and not die and this man shall return and serve God with all of his might to the days of his return back to his creator in Jesus name amen 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 you will testify you will come you're welcome Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Go ahead, Sister Claire. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will go. Where he leads me, I will follow. I'll go with him, with him, all the way. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this prayer line live. And we pray that this broadcast has blessed your people tonight, Lord God. 
We pray that your name would be continually glorified and honored. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, Thank you, you, Sister Claire. Claire. <coughs> You're welcome. On behalf of Glory Tabernacle Prayer Line, together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry, we bid you good night. God bless you all until we meet again. Hallelujah. This has been a Consuming Fire audio production that has brought you the broadcast of Glory Tabernacle Meeting. Thank you all for coming and we will be looking forward to seeing all of you returning to the prayer line again. So go tell someone about this meeting. You can email us at glorytabernaclemeeting at gmail.com or go over to our website at www.glorytabernaclemeeting.blogspot.com and Glory Tabernacle Meeting will be, be getting back with you with an email and you can drop us a line over there and the prayer request will be, be met there on that email so God bless and thank you for coming again to Glory Tabernacle Prayer Meeting here this evening. God bless. Goodbye.